What does one do when one records a video and doesn't check to make sure that her microphone has sound? One records it again. Yes, I am back for the second time on this video, which I recorded yesterday twice for you. So please watch it. <laughs> First off, before I get started, I do want to thank so many of my viewers who, um, when I asked for a link, I didn't expect like all of you to send me a link. Um, even some of my resources sent me links to make sure I had information necessary. Um, thank you. I want to make sure that you get to see this video because for sure, this looks like it ought to be for Outlander, but it is definitely music dubbed over that I can't play you. So as you can see, yes, of course, this is the Skyboat song that they are singing to, right? No, no, there's not. There's no Skyboat boot song. This is uh, Willow, and it is a normal part of her show. The song was definitely dubbed over with the Riverboat song. Um, I think it's season one's, but it might be season two's. And um, originally done by Sam on his Instagram. For some reason, it didn't come through my feed, but you guys are so nice. Whenever I say, I didn't see that video, I can't talk to y'all about it. Those of you who do Instagram, who TikTok, which I do not TikTok at all, always give me a link. I do appreciate that so much. To uh, the, For those of you who don't go on social media, this is how you get to see it. So thanks so much to those viewers who um, just kind of went crazy and filled up my inboxes with links. Oh, and also the woman that I couldn't identify. I know who she is now too. And that is Louisa McCullough. If I'm getting her last name wrong, I do apologize. But she is the STARS coordinator uh, who got all this together so that all of the cast could go at the same time and see Taylor Swift, which I think is got to be a tough job logistically. So um, well done, Louisa. And thank you all for <laughs> sending me just a copious number of links to go check out and make sure I had the right information to share here. Now that that bit's over, let's get on to our regular scheduled video. And for that, I'm going to start here. This is shared by at FGMNOT underscore DAF, also known as D. Uh, <laughs> they shared this image of Katrina and Sam having a lovely boat ride. Um, I believe Katrina has just been saved by Sam or technically by Tom Christie and is headed back home. And the, 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 all, all, all D has to say about this is Monday, Monday and a little heart. Now, in my opinion, Sam looks like he's got a Monday face on there for it. But um, I don't know. Katrina seems mm, all right. Let's go and get this done sort of a thing. She's just going with the flow, which makes sense because they're on water. Now, while that one was a bit of a throwback, this is a way, way back one. Diana to Sam upon meeting him for the first time. Tell you what, I won't tell anyone what you smell like if you don't tell anyone what I smell like. A few of the more intense fans had asked me to report. And there is a link to a full report of what it was like for Diana and Sam to meet for the first time. I will include that link below, of course. But let's take a look at some of these pictures. First off, we have um, Sam's missing part of his head, which is a shame. But with the extreme height difference between Sam and Diana, that's bound to happen. Let's see what happens next here. There we go. Now we can see Sam. And my goodness, he looks about 12 years old. Um, they age him up really good on the show, at least this last season. And we expect to see more of that in season eight. The difference between his age now, though, is still, it's been 10 years since this picture was taken, maybe more like 11, because you have to count the filming and production time. So yeah, yeah, vast difference in age. He looks quite different, and especially without the makeup to age him up. He does kind of look like he, he needs to wash his hair, though. That's just my opinion. And Diana, always, she has these great blouses, and I feel like they're the kind of blouses that you get when you were an author because you need to have room for movement and be, I don't know, <laughs> inventive and, and, and imaginative. And yeah, the blouses are always just really cool. I love her style. And here we've got one with Diana and Katrina and uh, she's either fixing her necklace, giving her a hug or fixing that tag that always comes out in the back of your shirt as itchy and it's annoying and it never looks good. Either way, very nice image. I enjoy these pictures. And again, there is an article describing what it was like for Diana to meet everybody for the first time. So do check that out. I will make sure that it is identifiable below for you. And uh, next up, I've got a little video, a little bit of video uh, with uh, Caitlin O'Ryan, who, as I've said before, has been very nice about updating us 
what's going on with her at, in the world as they are filming. This is a little different, though, because she's not the featured person thing in, in this video. <laughs> And so Caitlin O'Brien shares this, a moment for the scarf I made my mom make me. So she <laughs> she made her mom make her a scarf, and now she wants to display the scarf that her mom made her. You know what? I can I can get behind that. Uh, if you know somebody who sews, knits, uh, crochets, and, and makes things, you want to kind of show it off. Uh, I've got I've got one family member who crochets, and I'm not brave enough to ask her for the Doctor Who scarf. You you know which scarf I'm talking about. Uh, but I have had my mother, who is a wonderful seamstress, make me a uniform with no pattern to go on for a Star Trek cosplay I wanted to do. And yes, absolutely would show it off. I would show it off. You know what? I might show it off before I leave in August. But still. Awesome. Moms are terrific and they make us such wonderful things. Caitlin can show it off. She absolutely should. Beautiful job, mom. You know, as cheery as that was, this next bit's not going to be so pleasing for everyone to hear. I've got a message from Charles Vandervart concerning the Fergus Scott Fest. Uh, before I push play, you just wanted to make sure you could see that this post is shared by the Charles Vandervart fan site. Again, it does concern the Fergus Scott Fest. A message from Charles Vandervart. Uh, he's got a different thing on his ad. For all those who are going to Fergus Scott Fest, please watch until the end. Hello, hello. Charles Vandervart here. I'm repping the Fergus Scottish Festival t-shirt right now. Um, I just wanted to hop on and say that I'm so, so sorry, but I won't be able to make it to the Fergus Scottish Festival this year. Um, it's just not going to work out with my filming schedule in Scotland. Uh, I, I really wish I could have gone. It sucks. Um, it's such an amazing event. And I know that this year is going to be absolutely amazing. I went last year with Richard Rankin and we had the best time. Um, and this festival is also really special to me because it's about 20 minutes away from where I grew up. Um, so I just, I love it. And I'm going to have some serious FOMO looking at the pictures of all you enjoying yourselves. Um, but I'm just hoping that can go next year. I know that Maria Doyle Kennedy is going to be there this year. Um, so you guys are just going to have a blast. I know it. I really wish I could join you all, but, uh, yeah, I, I get to hope for next year at least. Um, anyways, thank you so much for understanding. Uh, I hope you have a great time. Enjoy. Yeah, that's always rough information to have to hand out to disappoint fans. I feel I feel kind of bad for him, but man, you know, that's really nice of him to record a message, especially for the fans, and it's not something he planned. Um, and he really can't. He he has no control over the filming schedule. And and we all know, I think those of us who've gone to conventions, we know sometimes stars they're planning to go, they're ready to go, and then something has changed, something has shifted, and they're unable to go to all the events they'd hoped to attend. So yeah, that that does happen. It's always disappointing. As much as I'm looking forward to seeing him at the gathering, I mean, I kind of have to uh, wait, not count my chickens before the eggs have hatched, sort of, um, because you never know who might suddenly have to uh, change their schedule. If, if something goes wrong in editing, he may have to go back and re-record something if they've been finished with recording before that. It can happen to anybody. Don't worry, Charles. We as fans, we understand. We just all hate you now. <laughs> Not even close. It happens. I do have some more to share, though. Some some other fun stuff to share. Because voting for the TV Telltale TV Awards is not done. We are on the final round. And while Katrina did not make it past round one, Sam is holding on strong through this final round, as is Outlander. So make sure you take the time to go ahead and vote. Remember, once per day. And um, try and see if we can get Outlander and Sam through that final round as winners for the Telltale TV Awards. And just in case me saying it isn't enough, look, there's Sam. He'd like you to vote for him, too. <laughs> this one's shared by Clan Yoon. Final round is here. Please vote one time per day in the sci-fi fantasy categories and retweet. And I did retweet. So uh, let's retweet. Let's, let's share. Let's make sure that anybody that we know who likes Outlander has a chance to go vote and make sure that Sam and Outlander are both winners. Speaking of winners, my goodness here, we always hear about how he's gotten double gold. Well, apparently he was tired of that. As Tash shares, holy moly, congratulations to Sam and the Sassanac Spirits team. That's incredible. What's incredible? Double platinum. Yeah, the little award sticker at the bottom here says American Spirits 2024 Ascot Awards. Double platinum winner from the Council of Tasters. That is is fleeping, ridiculous, awesome, terrific. I almost want to tell you something right now, but can I just say that if you're watching this now, I really, really encourage you to make sure you're watching the video I drop 
uh, on the 24th or the day or two after that. I think you'll enjoy it. And also check out the one on June 24th. And also my Patreons and members, I got a little something to tell you because because I did another thing. Um, <laughs> until then, check this out. Very congratulations. I'm just really, really happy for Sam here and all the hard work he's put into this. It totally deserved since we're on the subject of Sam. And you know, I like to close out my videos with Sam. We got a little more Sam. As we travel back a little more than two years ago for Graham McTavish to wish his good pal, Sam, a happy birthday. Uh, he did this in May 1st of 2022. His birthday is, of course, uh, Sam's birthday is, of course, April 30th. Outlander Lover shares from Graham McTavish on May 1st, 2022. Happy birthday, buddy. The man I'd most like to be stabbed with a fork by. Come to think of it, I think you have stabbed him once already uh, at Sam Hewn. And, and if he didn't stab him, he's sure poised to do so. Uh, Nobody hit Sam's elbow. It's going to be bad for, for, for Graham. And again, I have to say, look how young Sam looks without all of the makeup to age him. They are definitely aging him up. I think we're just used to seeing him. <laughs> they can only do so much when he's not 50, but we're, 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 we're getting close there and, and he looks nice. And Graham has really rosy cheeks and I think is trying to pull off the Santa Claus. But uh, that's neither here nor there. I have one more Sam image for us. And this here is my last image for the day. This is, again, another throwback of Sam because um, all the recent stuff was Taylor Swift and we already did that. This one is shared by at Point Blank 1959, also known as Michaela Ulia Boldea. That's my best shot at that. Uh, Sam ready for bungee jumping and not really a piece of cake, especially for Graham. Oh, this is a Men in Kilts 2 one. Uh, Louise and Sand uh, at Sand 16238165 Hashtag Sam Hewn, hashtag Men and Kilts season two. So yeah, we've got um we've got Sam with his uh this is the strap to hold the bungee on. Either that or he's wearing a backpack while bungee jumping. I would not recommend that. And my only experience with bungee jumping has to do with those um, amusement park rides that you would see where they've got a metal wire ball kind of and it is hanging on by two bungees which are attached by two rods that are way, way, way up high. And they pull that sucker down to the ground, making sure the bungees are nice and stretched. And then somebody pushes a button while you're sitting, strapped in, of course, inside a chair that is welded to the inside of that fun wire mesh ball. It's not really wire mesh, it's like big piping. Anyway, and then I let go. And that ball, still attached to the bungees, which are attached to the rods, flies up in the air and you get a bird's eye view of everything. That was a good time. I enjoyed it. I would not mind bungee jumping off of a bridge where there is water because I can swim in case something goes wrong. <laughs> and um, I also like a good zip line. But yeah, I hope that they got as much fun out of their bungee jump experience as I got out of my wire ball thing. <laughs> It was a fun time, and it only gives you a little bit of a heart attack, and Graham seemed fine, so I'm going to go with they had a great time, and um, nobody regrets any decisions made on that trip. That is everything I have for this update. I do hope you got something fun out of it. Not as heavy and crazy as some of the other ones, but a nice little touch as to what is going on with the stars' lives, and a look back at some of the stuff that they've done while we wait for more current information on set on what they're up to any side projects I'm still waiting to see the cut with Katrina which we'll have to find out when is that released I'm gonna have to find out when that's released so we can all watch it and um, again uh, thank you to all of you who <laughs> sent me links to that video I was a little overwhelmed and really surprised I, I tell you what there are times when I'm doing this when I'm just like I have so many friends there's like so many really good friends and I do appreciate all of you. And, and for those of you who also wanted to make sure that I knew those friendship bracelets, they are a Taylor Swift thing. And many of you wanted to make sure I was aware of that as well. And again, I appreciate it. I think it's very cool that, um, being a part of her fans, trying to spread joy and happiness, and peace and uh, friendship in such a way that 
I think that's just very cool. I don't have a whole lot more to say about that. It's just very cool. Before I go, of course, I do want to thank all of you for coming and viewing this. I do hope, again, like I said, that you got something good out of it. Maybe got a little giggle out of it. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a like. If you like this channel, please subscribe. And if you want to see more videos when they come out, don't forget to hit that notifications bell. For my members, for my patrons, thank you again always for your continued support. I really do appreciate it. Do look out for a little message because I, I did a thing again and um yeah now I might as well tell you guys <laughs> and if you did not get enough Outlander fun please do check out one of my other Outlander videos do know that there's some Star Trek to choose from there and I do uh, stuff from the original series stuff from the current series so you know check that out if you'd like and whatever video you pick you know what I will see you there um, Diana and to Sam we always hear about he's got platinum or as we travel back a little more that's a fly <laughs> to my so thanks so much yeah.